Hello everyone, welcome to my third, fifth q and I I don't know, I've done a lot, some of these. So anyway, I asked you guys to ask me some cues so that I could aid them. So let's get started here. <clears throat> The first question, by the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I've uploaded it to a thousand subscribers, so that would really help. Thank you, and please, please and thank you. Anyway, first question, <clears throat> what YouTubers do you look up to? Very good question. I look up to my best friend Hayden from Little Green Alien, and I also Looked up to a YouTuber known as MNJTV. He's very funny, makes quality Pokemon content. And I guess YouTubers like them. So, thank you. Next question <clears throat> If you could have a luxury yacht, which planets and continents would you visit first? Ah, well, you see, I would, um, planets, probably Mars, just so I could say I'm the first human being on Mars, and continents, Europe, probably. So, yeah. Next. Do knowledge and understanding make one content as a person? Kind of. I'm and I'm saying kind of because it's good to have knowledge and understanding about stuff so that, you know, you don't mess stuff up, I guess. But also, you have to be able to, like, do that knowledge and understanding in a good way. And you also have to be happy, I guess, to be content as a person. That's just part of my opinion, I guess. Next question. Uh. Let's see. What are your pronouns? Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> he, him. I am straight. I do not hate old... G B T Q people, I'm sorry if I pronounce that wrong, I'm very sorry. I actually know some and they're good people. I however am just I'm straight. L G B T Q, yeah. Yeah, I got it. I am straight, however. <clears throat> what is the most pathetic failure against the gym leader you've ever done? Pokemon gym leader. And oh ho oh, oh, ho, I have had there are many pathetic failures against many gym leaders. Maybe ch not training enough, uh, not healing my Pokemon when I had an, op an option to, underestimating the gym leaders, stuff like that, I guess. <clears throat> what is the worst thing you've ever tasted? Well, might have to be this chocolate bar from Germany I once had that came in a package, and it was it was terrible. I I love chocolate, but that was yeah, never never again. What is the best meme you've ever seen? Good question. That is a good one. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I've seen a lot of good memes. A lot of funny memes. I've created lots of funny memes. I just don't know. There's too many to choose from. Favorite ice cream. 
Cookies and cream. Do you plan on buying the gun? Well, I actually have a BB gun. I'm not going to use it unless I am using it to like shoot down old soda cans. That's the only reason I would ever use it. But I do have one, but I would never use it for violence. Ever. That's bad. Don't do it. Is bacon overrated? A little bit, to be honest. Not as much of a meat type of guy, but a little bit, tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit, in my opinion. To what decimal place do you know pi? 3.1 for 1.5. So yeah, so yeah, to that, for now. Which is the best Jackbox TV game? I'm personally a big fan of, um... That one game where you type in the answers and people vote on it. I forgot the name, but that's probably my favorite. What's your favorite number? 15, obviously. Pizza Pizza 15 here, so. It, it is 15. Best childhood book. I don't know, there's a lot of good ones in my past. Next, we have... If you could wear a color for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, yellow. That's my favorite color, so I would choose yellow. Would you ever consider a career in stop motion? If so, would you open your own business or would you work for someone? I am interested, and I think I would work with someone at first. So, good questions, by the way. Are there any others? Um, nope. That's not. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this Q&A video. And don't forget, I hope you learned something new about me, and please do not forget to tie your shoe.